Hey everyone, we did not vlog yesterday because it was kind of a crazy busy day as you can probably tell by the title of this. So I just thought that I would do a story time and kind of explain yesterday and explain everything and update you all because I've getting been getting some comments on like Twitter and Instagram and on here about like an update on the pregnancy tests and everything like that. So I do have an update so I thought that I would update you and so yeah. I will just go through yesterday so i have been taking pregnancy tests probably every two days and they've all been they've all had like a some kind of line and it's not it's been like it's not like last month it's in the time frame everything like that but i don't know they like weren't getting darker they we could see them brandon could see them and everything but like they weren't getting darker we found out that we were pregnant with Addie when I was like three, three and a half weeks and it was a lot darker than these and at this point I would be like four weeks and they should at least be getting darker. There is like different, like every pregnancy is different so I mean it's possible for for this pregnancy if I was pregnant to, you know, be just not, and I wouldn't have as much HCG but they weren't getting darker so I decided to call my doctor and just let them know what was going on and so they said come on in and we will get you in for a blood pregnancy test and so i went in yesterday and i got the test and then they called me a few hours later and it was negative and they said well it's really weird that like tests are coming up positive and so if you don't get your period in a week come back and we'll do another blood pregnancy test they said that it is possible but really i don't feel like it's that possible i mean if in really rare cases i'm sure that this has happened and i'm sure that it is possible but if if those were real positives on a cheap you know test that were actually you know having real lines if those were actual like positives then it should definitely be showing up in my blood because blood pregnancy tests are even more accurate so I definitely don't think that I'm pregnant, but I guess if in a week, I don't even know if I'm going to go back in because I don't, I mean, I know that I'm not pregnant, but it's just really weird that those all came up positive and that I've been having all these signs, but I'm not pregnant and it's just kind of frustrating to me because number one, I will never ever ever get those pregnancy tests again that's two months in a row last last month i got them again because i thought that last month was just like it had been too long whatever i let it sat like sit out so it you know some of them get lines after they like dry up and sit out but this month like literally five pregnancy tests told me that i was pregnant they they looked pregnant some of them were like in weird spots but i had at least like three that actually looked like i was pregnant i could tell like it was within the time limit and so i will never if you are looking to get those walmart 88 cents ones do not get them they worked really well when i actually was pregnant and but you know you don't know that that's why you're taking pregnancy tests so if you're like i guess if you know that you're pregnant and you're just trying to track if they get darker then i definitely say go for it but if you're looking for pregnancy tests do not get those ones two months in a row that's just crazy so i will never be buying those ever again so hopefully i don't get any more false alarms and i don't know i just i feel like we okay this is the part where it's going to get tmi i mean this is a channel about i mean you guys pretty much watched me give birth so i'm not even gonna worry about it but basically we have a very active sex life and so honestly i mean i don't unless something like went wrong because it, that is possible like if i didn't ovulate to the right place like there are a lot there are a ton of things that get into that go into conceiving not just like ovulating and having sex but um i feel like if i would have ovulated we would have definitely gotten pregnant which is why i was like kind of thought that i might be pregnant so I think that I didn't ovulate again and it's kind of apparent to me because I always have longer cycles when I ovulate and I'm always late. Like I've always had a 28 day, day cycle when I do ovulate and then I have, you know, longer cycles when I don't. 
and so and not ovulating is usually from a cyst so i feel like i have the same cyst from last month and it just never went away and i feel like that's what the implantation bleeding or the bleeding that i was having i think that that was from the cyst making me bleed so i think that that's what's going on and obviously like the leaky boobs obviously that was just i guess like she like slobbered on my shirt or something or my water bottle and i just didn't notice until then but it's just really kind of just frustrating because this is two months in a row that I thought that I was pregnant and I feel like it's going to be a lot harder for us to get pregnant than we thought especially we thought that it would be easier with um you know me being extra fertile for like really fertile for the first year after birth but I feel like it's going to be a lot harder than we thought especially if I've already not ovulated two months out of the what five except for i mean i've only had my cycle back for probably like three right like three yeah so two out of the three cycles that i've had i didn't ovulate like that's really concerning to me so i mean i'm not i'm trying to stay positive just like last month we technically weren't even trying and it's only been like a month of us you know not being careful and everything like that so definitely could just be that we didn't get pregnant but the fact that I'm already having a, like a late cycle and with last month's cycle I do think that it's a cyst and I don't think that I'm ovulating so we are going to try to stay positive but we do think that it's gonna I think that it's gonna be harder than we thought it was going to be so what I'm going to do is I mean hopefully I get my period soon because that's just so frustrating I hate like waiting for cycles because you know back before I was pregnant I sometimes had to wait like 60 days and then you know in your head if you've struggled through infertility you know this but like in your head you're like okay maybe I'm still pregnant maybe it's just not showing up maybe it'll be like one of those rare cases and then you know you're like maybe I am pregnant so you keep taking tests because the only way to know that you're really not pregnant is by taking or is by getting your period and so you're just like well maybe I'm still pregnant and it's like 60 days of torture and then like your period finally comes and you're like why didn't this come 30 days ago like why couldn't I have known this so it's just kind of frustrating like waiting for your period and being like well maybe I'm pregnant I know that I'm not pregnant because a blood pregnancy test is pretty darn eyed like it's accurate so I'm not pregnant there's no way that I think that I'm pregnant I mean I don't think that I'm gonna be one of those rare cases where it showed up on it I don't even know if that's possible but anyways um, I do feel like it's gonna be harder for us and so I've decided, you know, we thought that we were just going to go the natural route and just see what happened. But I also thought that I would at least be having regular cycles and ovulating. So I want to confirm that I'm not ovulating. And yes, ovulation tests aren't that accurate for people with PCOS. But it is sometimes accurate and it's a good like baseline to go off of kind of my issue before was that it would tell me that i was ovulating like four times in a month because i guess your body makes different hormones so i feel like if i take them and it's saying that i'm not ovulating then it's probably accurate so i'm going to pick up some pre some pregnancy tests <laughs> some ovulation tests and i'm going to hopefully whenever i get my period after that i'm going to try to like track and do everything this cycle not i mean we are going to you know still have an active sex life but i'm mostly going to be like watching for if i am ovulating i'm really going to be trying to i'm going to track like my temperature and everything like that and then i think i'm going to call my um fertility specialist and see if they think that this is a good idea but and then at the end of the month like report to her like i don't think that i even ovulated like can we do something because like this is gonna be harder than we thought and i'd rather you know not go through a year and a half of infertility or whatever because you know it takes so long to get to the point where they will give you treatment so i don't know and i don't i want to use this year where i'm really fertile i really want to use that to my advantage so that if we do need to do something hopefully it doesn't end up in anything you know major hopefully it is just really simple and they just need to give me you know one more cycle of from Hera or whatever it is and we can use the fact that I'm really fertile and those two together will mean that it'll happen fast and it'll happen easily 
so i don't know i'm definitely gonna call them and get some ovulation tests and i already have a, like everything else to chart and everything but i think that that's what we're gonna be doing and i will let you all know when like my cycle comes back and everything but yeah i'm not pregnant it's just frustrating and next month i am not going to be using those cheapies at all i'm never going to use them again in my life but i'm also going to not test i'm going to say this i'm going to try really hard not to test until after like day cycle day 30 or maybe 28 probably 28 because that's like my usual cycle but i'm not going to test until i've actually like of the day that i'm going to be getting my period so that and i'm not going to use the cheapies so we will not get any more false alarms and i don't even know i might not even tell everyone or post about it until i know for sure and i like get it confirmed with a blood pregnancy test i don't know let me know what you all think because i bet you all are getting really annoyed and frustrated just like i am because this is two months now and so yeah i am really gonna be trying to stay positive because i do have addy like she just makes this so much easier like last last time that we did this i was just at this point like a day later finding out that i was not pregnant after that would have happened i would be in bed crying i would be depressed for like a week it would have been really hard and i would have still been taking pregnancy tests i would have been like i w it was crazy like i was so sad and depressed trying to conceive and i would have been like no i am pregnant you know i don't know so i'm definitely glad that i have her she is m the light of my life and honestly if if we only have addy it will be really hard for me to swallow it, it'll be really hard because i do want a big family but she is just like my life like last night i was just holding her in my arms and she fell asleep in my arms which she usually does that when i'm like feeding her but she just fell asleep in my arms just like t with me singing to her and it was like just what i needed and i just sat there for two hours until she woke up again i just laid there with her and i just stared at her and i was like i am so lucky i'm so grateful like she's enough for me like if i really do want to have more but like if i didn't she would be enough and so yeah i just am going to snuggle her, her extra and a lot of people say you know enjoy her and trust me i do i mean i I spend my entire day and night with her. I love on her. I, that happens a lot where I just like sit there with her in my arms sleeping for hours, for like two hours. And I do spend a lot of time with her. All my day is enjoying her. And so yeah, it, it does honestly make me enjoy her more, I think, because I realized the road that we had to go, the journey that we had to go on to get to her is just like so crazy to me. And I am so happy to have her. And the road and the journey that we took to get to her was just so long and so depressing. But obviously it was all worth it. But yeah, I don't want anyone to think that I'm not enjoying her. I do enjoy her. And so yeah, but this is just our video telling y'all an update. Uh, I will tell you all when I get my period. And I'm going to go pick up some ovulation test and i will update throughout my cycle on that and i'm going to be tracking my temperature and everything like that i'm not going to do that every cycle because it's just like way too much it ends up like stressing me out i just want to have some information to tell the infertility specialist and to like present them like i don't think that i'm ovulating this has happened like you know a few months in a row so definitely just like have some more information for them i'm not gonna be doing that every time because i would drive myself crazy but just i think this month i'm gonna be doing it all and then yeah i guess we'll see what from there i'm gonna call my the infertility specialist today and just see if she thinks that that's a good plan but anyways it's a lot of information i'm sorry if i was like rambling i'm just trying to update as much as i can and let me know if you all actually if if you think that I should wait to get it confirmed by blood pregnancy test to actually tell everyone because I, I mean, I am going to be taking better tests. <laughs> so hopefully this doesn't happen because those are horrible, horrible. Walmart, like up your game. 
I guess that they are only 88 cents, but that does not mean that they should lie. <laughs> like, anyways. We will see you all tomorrow. We are going to be vlogging today, and I just didn't vlog yesterday because it was like crazy. And I thought that I was going to probably maybe have an exciting announcement to post today. So, anyways. But, we will see you guys tomorrow. We love you all so much. Thank you all so much for your support. I know that I'm going to get some haters on this video. And you know what? I've just kind of started ignoring them. It's going to happen. But anyways, we love you all so much that who are supportive of us and yeah, you just mean the world to us. I cannot believe how much support you do show us and I feel like you are all a part of our family and so yeah, I don't usually respond to comments or anything like that because there are haters and I just prefer to ignore some of the comments so definitely if you want to follow me on Twitter and Instagram especially Twitter I really try to like reply to everyone or you know everything like that so it's a lot easier for me to do that on Twitter because I feel like if you all follow me on like Twitter and Instagram then you aren't haters but haters don't go follow me I don't I don't need that kind of negativity on those too but so yeah definitely follow me on Twitter and I will try to reply to all of your comments your comments and your questions and your tweets and everything like that. So, yeah, we love you and we'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. You want to say goodbye? Because we all know that you're why they're here. Look at that face. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Mama loves you. You say goodnight.